Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you back. And today we shall discuss 10 things that you can do sitting in your home during this lockdown on Akshay Tritya, which is the most auspicious day of the year. Akshay Tritya is the day when our sun and moon are both in their exaltation signs, respectively. Sun is in Aries and moon is in Taurus, Kritika Nakshatra. And uh, the Tithi is Tritya, of course. That's why it's called Akshay Tritya. It's the third lunar day. And uh, this day is considered to be the best day of the year because both the luminaries are in their uh, highest states, which is sun, which represents our external achievements and our desire to move ahead in life, do things and achieve things in life. <laughs> build a sustenance in this world to sustain ourselves, our family and to sustain others. And moon represents the emotional comfort. It's how we feel within this kingdom. So these two are exalted and Venus will be in his own sign Taurus and Mars will of course be exalted. Saturn will be in own sign. Jupiter will be in debility and Rahu Ketu will also be in their signs of uh, exaltation because Rahu is in Gemini and Ketu is in Sagittarius where they do very good. They bring out a lot of lessons for humanity. Right? So therefore, uh, this currently we have the lockdown. So therefore, uh, there are 10 things which you can do without going anywhere. You, you don't have to uh, step out of your home to do all these things. Okay. So... There you go. Let's start. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So what is the first thing that you should do? The first thing that you should do unapologetically, without any doubt, without any delay, is you must start reading the Srimad Bhagavatam if you have not done yet. All right. This is the first thing you have to do. If you don't do this, nothing else works. <laughs> If you do this, everything else will fall in place. Why do I say Srimad Bhagavatam? Why do I not say you should go and read the Ramayana, you should go and read the Mahabharat? Well, you could still do that. There's no harm in that. But Vyas Dev, the author of all the scriptures, all the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Puranas, everything has been written by Maharishi Vyas. Most of them, he's the son of Satyavati and Maharishi Parashara. And he was at the highest state of spiritual realization when he wrote the Srimad Bhagavatam. So Srimad Bhagavatam is the topmost of all the Vedic scriptures. It is known as the Paramhamsa Samhita. It is the, uh, it is the crest jewel of, imagine, there are a lot of, uh, imagine you enter a room and there are a lot of uh, jewels. And there are pearls, there are rubies, there are you know, emeralds. <laughs> The priceless costs, I mean, world's most costliest gems. And then you see there is a big diamond which is like shining and its effulgence has uh, made every other gemstone uh, there look as if they are all insignificant. All right, so that is the Srimad Bhagavatam. So, Srimad Bhagavatam is exclusively the commentary to the Vedanta Sutra. All right, so Vyasdev only wrote the Vedanta Sutra. Vedanta means the end of the Vedas. So, if somebody says that I want to read the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Rama and Mahabharata, everything, that's perfectly fine. But <clears throat> the question is, how much time do we have, right? So, therefore, we should take the easy way out. We should read the Srimad Bhagavatam because that is the conclusion where Vyasdev has given all the uh, core spiritual foundational principles which directly elevates us at a soul level. The other religious books, they contain a lot of uh, selfish uh, things. Selfish means not for them, for us. Like for example, you know, uh, astrology books, you go and uh, wear this gemstone or you go and do this puja, this mantra, this tantra or some, some something uh, or the other. You do and you get benefit, material benefits. But uh, Srimad Bhagavatam says uh, that you should leave all these things and directly focus on God because only then we will be 
directly able to realize our connection with him all right so that is something which you should never miss and i you will get the link down if you, uh, you can go to amazon and purchase the first canto or if you are interested uh, you will you can purchase the whole set also all right so that is the first thing you should do and you should offer your respects to maharishi vyas okay then what is the second thing you should do the second thing is also very important that is you should read the bhagavad gita all right the bhagavad gita is a very uh, instructive conversation between lord krishna and arjun in the battlefield of kurukshetra the bhagavad gita is a part of the mahabharat the western as you have heard of mahabharat mostly so therefore uh, when you uh, when you read scriptures like the bhagavad gita then you will get clear direction in life okay otherwise uh, you will just uh, keep roaming headlessly without knowing like your situation is like arjuna sometimes huh? but arjuna was also roaming headlessly he was uh, not knowing what to do he was unable to kill the kurus okay but uh, then uh, he got enlightenment from lord krishna and there are so many shlokas here there are around uh, 700 shlokas here so i'll read out one shloka this is a uh, 10th chapter 11th verse okay this this shloka i am planning to show you all right so this shloka is very important tesham evano kampartham aham agyana jam tamaha nashayam yatma bhavastho gyana gyana deepa ena bhasuta so the translation is to show them special mercy i dwelling in their hearts destroy with the shining lamp of knowledge the darkness born of ignorance So Lord Krishna is telling here that He will burn the darkness which is there in everybody's heart, which was also there in Arjuna's heart. So, therefore, uh, we should read the Bhagavad Gita and uh, take it as a manual for our life. Okay. So then we will see that uh, we can actually understand what we are doing in life, not just uh, having a career or getting married and uh, just settling in life or. just watching netflix sometimes all right so therefore this is very crucial that you also read the bhagavad gita so that brings me to point number 3 yes brahma samhita this is another thing which you can read brahma samhita is what is brahma samhita basically brahma samhita is uh it's the revelation of the spiritual world the vaikuntha planets by lord brahma so brahma ji he was meditating brahma is the creator of this brahmanda this material world uh, this one material uh, universe actually not the material world sorry within the material world there is this universe where we live in there are 14 planetary systems so uh, he is the creator of the 14 planetary systems and he when he was meditating he had a uh, uh seen the spiritual world in his meditation and then he compiled these beautiful verses all right so on the day of akshay tritiya i will also come live on 26th all right so uh on that day i will come and i will also uh, recite the brahma samhita uh and i will also explain the meaning all right so the brahma samhita is very beautiful it contains a description of the vaikuntha planets and uh there are very beautiful shlokas which can uh, help you to uh, move move ahead in your spiritual realization how does the spiritual world look like like uh, this shloka is the chinta mani prakara sadma sukalpa vriksha laksha viteshu surabhira vipala yantam lakshmi sahastra sat sambrama sevyamanam govindamadi purusham tamaham bajami yasya sada <laughs> If I start speaking, it will take long time. So, uh, you can also Google uh, in YouTube also, uh, or you can find videos in YouTube, or you can just search uh, Brahma Samhita, B R A H M A S A M H I T A, Brahma Samhita. You will find it. Okay. So the lyrics are very beautiful, and you should also understand the meaning, and you should chant. Okay, not that just blindly you are doing anything. What you want. Okay, then number four. Number four is uh, Vishnu Sahasra Nam. You should chant that day. Okay, this is very, 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 very crucial. Vishnu Sahasra Nam is very important. 
because uh, the, as the word suggests, uh, it's thousand names of Lord Vishnu. So uh, Vishnu Sastram is very important because uh, it contains a lot of philosophy also. Okay, so for example, uh, if you see this, Yudhishthira Vacha Kime Kam Deva Kam Loke Kimva Ape Kam Parayanam Stuvanta Kam Kam Achanta Prapni Yurumana Mashubham O Dharma Sarva Dharmanam Bhavata Paramumata Kimjapan Mucha Tejantur Janmasam Sara Bandhana. So Yudhishthir Maharaj, he is the uh, son of Kunti Devi and Maharaj Pandu. He is the uh, eldest Pandava. And then he is asking to uh, Bhishma Pitama. Okay. Kime kam devatam loke, kim vape kam parayanam. Which devata should I worship? Okay. Stuvanta kam kam achanta prapni urmanam ashubham. Who, by chanting whose names, will I obtain all auspiciousness? Ko dharma sarva dharmana. Which is the, which is the, which dharma should I follow? Okay. Bhavata paramomata. Kim japan muchate jantu janma samsaravana. Which is, which are those mantras? What should I chant? Which gives me freedom from this uh, ocean of birth and death? Janma samsara bandhana. Okay. So, then Bhishma Pitama starts speaking. Jagat prabhum deva deva manantam purushottam. Stuvan nama sahasrena purusha satatottita. It's very long. So, therefore, I have also started the Vishnu Sasana playlist. So, I have added one video and maybe by the time you see this, I would have added more videos. Oh, no, as of now, I've added only one. I will add in future. So, therefore, uh, please read that. That's very important. You will really, really, really enjoy it. Okay. You can find that in YouTube, in Google. Very easily, you can find that. What is number five? Number five is you can get up during Brahma Muhurat that day. It's very crucial. Okay. So that you can do these remedies properly. So Brahma Murat is technically one and a half hours before sunrise. Okay, so you should ideally that day at least you should get up or uh, two hours before and you should take a bath and you should uh, be ready. And then as soon as it is one and a half hours before sunrise, you should start doing these remedies. Okay. And this will really, 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 really help you to kickstart and uh, go ahead in your spiritual life because uh, whatever done during Brahma Murat is extraordinarily powerful to give you uh, clarity in life, to make you more spiritual, to make you more positive, basically. You, you can try any random day. You can give a trial two, three, two, three days before Akshay Tritya. That uh, Akshay Tritya is coming, so let me give a trial. Let me sleep by 9, 30, 10 and try to get up during Brahma Murat. Okay. So give a trial and uh, try to get up that day and take a bath and do all these activities, okay? That's very important. And remember, whatever you do on Akshay Tirya, that, uh, that has long-lasting effects, okay? Eternal effects. That's why it's known as Akshaya, means one which, uh, uh, one which is never extinguished, actually. One which never uh, degrades or deteriorates. So, therefore, it's very crucial that you cultivate good habits during this day, okay? Because if you do anything bad, or you are lazy, then that will also continue. All right. So be very careful what you do on Akshay Number six, you should chant uh, mantras or increase your uh, rounds. Okay. Uh, that day. So, uh, for example, if you are chanting certain mantras, then uh, uh, you should uh, in you should chant more. Like if you are chanting one mala, then that day you should chant eight malas at least. It's very important because that's a very special day. So therefore, or if you are chanting 8 malas, you can try to chant 16 malas that day. Okay, if you are chanting 16, try to chant 32 malas that day. So when you do this, then uh, you, you will realize that it's easier for you to chant more later also. Especially when you do it on days like Aksha Tritya. Alright, so don't misuse this day. Uh, please chant more mantras because... The Srimad Bhagavatam says, Nama Sankirtanam Yasya Sarva Papa Pranashanam Pranamo Dukha Samanas Tvam Namami Harim Param That Nama Sankirtanam Yasya Congregational Chanting of the Holy Name Sankirtan Of course, now we cannot do Sankirtan. We have to sit in our home. We can do it with our family. Okay. 
maintaining all uh, barriers of uh, and principles of social distancing during this uh, coronavirus. Not that you go out on the streets and do whatever you want. Okay, so uh, stay at your, stay at your home and do it with your family. If you are uh, if you are alone, then do it yourself. Or if you are married and you have kids, then do it with your children or with your mother, with your father, husband, wife, all right, or with your grandparents also or grandchildren. So uh, therefore, uh, this is the yuga dharma for kali yuga. So chanting mantras is very important. So if you have already been chanting certain mantras, you can chant. Or you can, uh, if you are not chanting any mantras, you can start with uh, Om Namo Narayanaya and Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. These two mantras you can chant 108 times every day, uh, morning, uh, or at least on that day you can start with one round. Okay, and mantra should be done only in mala. Okay, and uh, yes, and if you're already doing, please increase it. Okay, on that day. Number seven. This is very crucial. That is the day you should take a vow that I will not eat meat again in this life because meat eating will uh, spoil your uh, inquiry for spiritual truths, higher matter, higher um, higher matters which uh, only human beings can inquire. So the difference between human beings and animals is not that human beings live in skyscraper buildings. Well, uh, the difference is that. Uh, human beings have the capacity to inquire about God and animals do not have that capacity. You will, you will rarely or maybe never find uh, any cat or dog or any lion or any bear or any bird they are coming and inquiring, oh, who is God? Uh, what is all this? You know, Who am I? Why am I living here? No, they are not concerned about all this. They are just concerned about their daily life. But in human life, only we see that there is considerable amount of higher inquiry of who created this universe, uh, what is all this, what am I doing here, what is my goal, what is my goal of life, what is my purpose, why am I living, what am I doing basically in this world. So, so therefore, it's highly crucial that uh, you take to spiritual practices and uh, also you evade from those activities which pull you down. So, for example, eating meat that makes you more tamasic. It increases rajoguna and tamoguna inside because uh, the animals, when they are killed, then they have a lot of pain and anger and agony. You know, imagine when if somebody tries to beat you, harm you, how will you feel? So, similarly, if animals are killed, then they're not happy like you and me, all right? Now, this is common sense, but uh, as my guru used to say in Kali Yuga, common sense is not very common. So, therefore, we have to use some useless religious arguments that, you know, some religious books say you should not eat, some useless scientific arguments that, oh, science says you should not eat. But then science and religion, this too can become very complicated. Somebody can bring some religious book and show all... It's written here, you can eat. Some scientists can say, no, 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 meat is good for you. All right, so don't bring science or religion when it comes to eating meat. You will end up putting yourself in trouble, okay? So just use your common sense. You don't like if somebody kills, beats you, so animals won't like, okay? And the karmic reactions will come. And that's what is happening now. The current virus situation which is there, that is because... Some people from certain countries, they or one country, <laughs> they were eating certain types of animals, okay. And the funny thing is, the other countries, you know, like, uh, they are uselessly blaming this nation. But the only difference is that, uh, I mean, there's no difference. By There's no difference between eating a goat or a cow or a chicken or eating a bat, if you understand what I mean. So if if this virus comes because of some country eating bats or some other animals, you know, I, I won't take names, and if the other countries who are eating other types of animals, they are criticizing this country. Well, they are foolish idiots actually. They're, they're just uh, they're just trying to hide themselves. All right. So therefore, this puts you more into tamaguna. And I'm very happy that so many people, after watching my videos, they have are uh, taken up to vegetarian diet all right so sattvic vegetarian diet so please take to it and don't eat meat take a vow that from that day you will never ever eat meat okay that is the vow you should take then 
Number eight is observing a complete fast to whatever extent possible. Okay, so if you can do water fast, it is good. Uh, if you cannot, then you can fast with fruits. There, or else you can fast with dry fruits, or at least avoid eating grains on that day. Okay, and don't eat some lavish food or something like this, and you just eat up till here, and you just go and sleep. Okay. So when you fast, your brain is more active, you get more energy and you can think more clearly. So that is the purpose of fasting, right? So utilize this day properly and don't waste too much time cooking. Put a full stop to the kitchen. If there are some elderly members in your home who need to eat, then for them you can cook something or maybe they can cook that day for themselves. But if you're young, hale and healthy, then please don't waste time cooking Okay, that day. And number nine is you must connect to your gurus, your shiksha guru, your diksha guru, anybody who has given you spiritual knowledge. Please connect to them. Please express your gratitude to them. All right. Because of them only you have made some advancement. I don't know about you, but in my case, whatever little or no spiritual advancement I have made in the last 10 years, it is only because of their grace. It is because they have always showered their uh, wisdom upon me without fail. And if they would not be there, then I I would be nowhere. <laughs> All right. So express your gratitude to your gurus and connect with them. Take enlightenment from them. Have Zoom sessions or you know, WhatsApp call or Skype call, or whatever it is. So take enlightenment. Okay. And the last is do donations to whichever extent possible, okay, to your gurus and to spiritual communities because they, they are the ones who are spreading spiritual knowledge which will uplift society, all right. So please do a good amount of donations and uh, this is for you yourself not to uh, ask others who is donating what. So. Uh, ask yourself and then that's it whatever extent possible or you can uh, donate food also if, if, if you want or you can cook something and feed others all right but primarily uh, focus on doing spiritual activities it's very 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 important that day okay and the last thing that i will say is bonus this is not do's this is don'ts actually uh Stay away from watching TV or news or at, at least for one day. I know it's very difficult for you, but at least for that one day, you, if you can, it's very good, okay? So utilize it for doing spiritual practices and elevate your consciousness because these days don't come every day, okay? Once in a year it comes. So once in a year, do some sacrifice, okay? That will be all from my side. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, you can always go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. See you on the live session. All right. With Brahma Samita. Thank you very much.